Okay. So, hey, welcome to my little thing here. I am going to click this entire puzzle. This entire puzzle was done in a blueprint. And I, so I have Shadow BP here. I'm just going to select it and delete it from my scene. And you'll see now it's, what? Well, let, I'm going to do this video first. And this light is called Spotlight. I'm just going to turn it off right now. Or, you know what, I'm going to un, can I just say, I want to just turn you off. Hold on. Okay, so for now, I'm just going to turn this to zero, and I'm going to hide it from my scene. So I'm going to select that light, hide it, and okay. and now it's like it's not even there. And it's like I'm starting from scratch, okay? So I have this path here in my mountain or in my scene, and I have this little spot here. And now I'm going to build my blueprint. The entire puzzle, except for the light, is going to be in the blueprint. And so in somewhere in my content maybe i'll make a blueprint folder or something i'm going to create one called blueprints double click in here and i'm going to say add new blueprint class i'm going to choose an actor blueprint and i'm going to call this monument um o2 underscore bp right and this is just an empty blueprint and so let's go ahead and start creating my scene. Now, this scene root I'm going to want here, I'm going to add something for the backdrop. And I'm going to just add a cube. I'm going to call this backdrop. And actually, what I'm going to do is create another scene root first. Scene uh, utility. And this is going to be called... Um, backing. And I want to actually drag this box into the backing C node. And now, because I'm actually going to have Wait, two components mommy, to this, mommy, I don't know. A box, I said, not box. So I've got this backdrop, and this backdrop is going to be wide. So I'm going to change the scaling okay, of this. Box? It's box, and I said box with a B, not box with a and I'm going to scale this maybe five times. That's right. And I'm going to scale it. I think I had it at three times. Oops, that's four. Three times and maybe nine times here to make a really wide wall. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Now I'm going to compile this and I'm going to now minimize that. And I have this Monument 2 BP. I'm going to drag it out into my world just to see how big that is. Okay. And I was close. I was close. I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to tap W to raise this wall up. Okay. Actually, what I'm going to do, when I tap the end button, I want the blueprint to drop down to the very bottom. So I'm going to go back into my blueprint go out of perspective for a moment, go into my left viewport, and this is from the left side, I'm just going to drag this wall up until it rests on the um, Z0 line. Okay, now I'm going to compile that, go back into perspective, minimize this, drag this up, hit end, and now I can see it drops down to the bottom. Great. I'm actually going to come in here and make my wall wider, so maybe like 12 in that direction, compile that. Okay, now it's a little bit wider. That's pretty good. I'm going to move this over here. And if I come here, I'm going to like find that I still can't, ooh, 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 because of that blocking volume, I still can't move past it. Yay. Okay, hit escape. Okay, so that's the wall. Next thing I'm going to do is make my monument. So I'm going to come back into my blueprint. And I'm going to, instead of the scene root for backing, I'm going to click on default scene root, type in scene utility type scene, and I'm going to call this monument. Now within this monument, I'm going to build this out of a few different cubes. So I'll call this cube 01. 
and I'm going to move it out to where I think it needs to be. Oh, I'm not going to move the cube, sorry. I'm going to move this scene. And when I move this scene root, it's going to be like that. And now I'm going to click on the cube itself, and I'm going to type Z is 3. Drag this up a little bit. What is that? That's 3. So maybe I'll do Z is like 2. And I'll set 0.75 for the X and the Y scale. It's a little bit smaller. And for the next, I'm going to add another cube there, and I'll call that cube 02. And I'm going to move this around here. I'm going to make this 0.75 as well. Point seven five. They're all 0.75, or this cube is 0.75 in all directions. I might push it forward there. And I'm going to make cube 03. Yeah. I know. Let me finish this video. You've eaten a lot already. I want everyone in the, watching the video to know that. My son has eaten a lot already. Nobody worry. Okay. And I'm going to put that cube there. And the idea is to make an object that is going to spin around that you shouldn't really know what it is. By just looking at it. Like, how would that make a cube? Well, let's kind of have some fun with that. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to make another scene component in my Monument O2BP, and that is going to be of oh, type scene, type down, down, scene, and that's going to be button. And this button scene component is again going to get a cube, and that's going to call be called platform. I'm going to select the button scene component and move it back around here. Now the platform, I want that to be that yellow or whatever you choose. And it's Z is going to be 0.25 because I want that to be like that. And then on that platform, I actually want the box collision to be on that. It did. And I'm going to raise that up. Okay. And that's what the button looks like. So when I stand on that, it'll hopefully activate something. I'm going to compile this. I don't need to save it. And I'm going to look to see how my scene looks. Oh my gosh, everything's on the other side. Can you believe it? So what I'm going to do, I could just rotate this, but I don't want it. I want to come into my scene. Oh no, let's go ahead and rotate it. In my scene. So I'm going to tap E. Come on. Tap Monument 02 BP in my scene, and I'm going to just rotate this 180 degrees. Yes, there we go. And now I can see how that blueprint looks in my scene. Yay. So I need to move this button. So what I like to do is kind of zoom this over here, open up my blueprint in a small window over here, and I can move this in real time. Oops, I was moving the, um, not the scene root. And the reason why I made these all scene roots is so I can click the button and only move everything about the button. I'm gonna rotate that so that is a square. Platform in there and raise it up. There we go. Now for the monument, I can select the monument scene root and kind of move this around here. Raise it up if I need to. Go. Oh, there's your tree lugger. And I think. Ooh, cool. Oh, and it's driving in there. Okay, I'm going to compile this. Now, for the light, my light component is going to be in the level itself. And the reason is, just for me, I found that it was easier to control the light in the scene. Oh, no, by tree lugger. In the scene rather than in the blueprint itself. So I'm going to click on, click that. Go to your, your place. Oh, by tree lugger forever. Go to your modes panel, go to place, and go to lights. And we are going to drag a 
spotlight here. You can choose a different kind of light if you choose. We already have a direct light. Oh, good. Daddy, I'm a hero. Oh. And now it's disappeared. And so this should place a shadow on your wall if it's if it goes long enough. So there are a couple things we might have to do. I don't know. Yeah, we might have to beep up intensity. What, Fox? Why are you this Oh, I don't know. I hate it when they do that, though. They made one drawer look like two drawers. I think they're liars. But that's okay. They don't know they're liars. Uh, the other thing we can do is change the attenuation radius. Push it back to make sure we're actually seeing something. And I actually think what's going on is there's too much light in the scene. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to click this, and that's where I'm going to go to my backing, right? And I'm going to add a overhang. It'll be a cube, of course. Oh, okay. I'll miss you. Oh. And I'm going to do the same. Okay, so this is 12. So I'm going to set the overhang scale in the Y by the same. I'm going to scale the Z by 0.5, so it's shorter. Maybe I'll change that. And I will create a long, I guess that's going to be about 3 scaled in the X direction. And move it like that. Yeah, I need to scale that. Probably 0.1 is good enough. Let's see how that works. Yeah. Now we can see. Now we can see that we can start seeing our shadows. Okay. Now we need to change a few things, of course. Bring my light back. Because the farther the light is, um, the smaller the shadow is going to be. So we need to kind of have a a fine line between where the monument is, where the light is, where the um, backing is to create a really good shadow. So I think I want... The other thing is I might need to make these a little bit smaller. So I'm actually going to select my monument as a whole. And if I scale the monument C node, it's going to scale everything below it in its hierarchy. So all of these cubes. And maybe I want to do that just for quickness sake. So I'll do 0.5 in the X, 0.5 in the Y, 0.5 in the Z. Of course, raise that up. And now you can start to see that. There. That's starting to kind of show something. And I could even bring that light closer and again s make it there and scale that even more. Scale the monument even more to like 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0.2. Is that too much? That might be too much. I wonder why that's too much. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. I'm going to rotate this light. So it's a little bit about rotating the light. There we go. Okay, and we have to be pretty close before we can see these shadows right now. For now, that's where I'm going to stop this video, and I will return when I have some good, um, good numbers to talk to you about. All right, bye.